It is late winter in a Florida garden, and everything is just on the verge of exploding with life and food. Almost all of the tomatoes that you'll see here have self-seeded, so we're a little late in getting harvest because we had floods. I thought that perhaps the seeds weren't going to come up, but they came up a little late and I'm sure I'm going to have a right on time harvest. You can see some beautiful flowers on Mame. I'm hoping that this is the year that she sets fruit for me. I'm not quite sure who her pollinator is. It looks like it's probably a tiny pollinator. Neem is bursting out after her annual dormancy. The seasonal beds are the most fun. The bush beans are just starting. And a lot of what we traditionally call weeds go in my salad bowl. So these are wood sorrel. There's a little bit of pellitory in there. And then this hawksweed. I love those leaves in a salad. And of course, some dollar weed. Yay, weeds. So this is a red potato tower. And when I harvest the potatoes in a little bit, I will put in sweet potatoes in here for the summer season. Another bed of just whoever wanted to grow there. I've got some nasturtium. That will be a marigold soon. We've got some radishes in there. And this little tomato baby, whatever variety she is. Probably Everglades, but yeah, it's pro if you look at that, it's probably an Everglades. And then again, the bush beans are coming, and pretty soon those will turn red, and they'll be magically delicious. This bed doesn't get a lot of sun, but those Everglades tomatoes last year grew up and over the fence, so I would imagine they will do that this year. I'm really bad about trimming the Everglades tomatoes. I know I should, but I don't usually keep up with that. I don't know if you'll be able to see it, but there's a orchid bee back there. Those are the green, shiny bees. Goji berry going on back there. I did learn an interesting thing, and that is in windy areas, plants grow shorter. So if you wanted your plants to stay small, what you can do is just rub your hand over the top of them, kind of brush the top of them to simulate windy conditions and they will not grow as tall and leggy. The backyard gardens are doing fine. I planted carrots three times and each time I got flooded out, so that's why I only have a few carrots this year. Typically for me, Carrots don't do well, but I'm always hopeful. Back there is a torvum, and I will shortly be grafting that little eggplant next to it, to it, and trying to be as awesome as David Stack and create an eggplant tree. I did a big harvest out of this garden yesterday, and I got a ton of greens and bok choy. And then I just replanted um, bok choy and some other things, so that'll perk up shortly. This garden bed is a little slow to get sun, so it gets sun later in the year. And I'm anticipating that those cabbage will start to head up pretty soon. I think those are the giant trap tropical. And I have been harvesting so much pigeon pea. This variety I know because I got it from Ralph at the market at Botanica Organica, and it is a golden moniato. Not sure how to pronounce that, but it's an heirloom variety that is endangered, so I'm super excited about that. Joseph Opar spinach, cassava coming. I already had a good cassava and malanga harvest, and I'll be doing more. And then who knows? 
see what that is. And probably Everglades, and I think that's one of the golden varieties that Tree Amigos sells every year that does well here. This is the corner that screams springtime because not only is the loquat representing big time, big time loquat. I will be freeze drying some of this if I can manage to keep it out of my mouth long enough and freeze dry loquat is just amazing. I also promised them to my friend Joe. And then I think most of us are expecting a rock star mango season. I have no recollection of seeing this tree this loaded with flowers. She did not fruit for me at all last year, so I think she's trying to make it up to me. But this is late winter, mid-February, in a South Florida garden, and this is one of the best times of the year. We're still getting cold friends, so it gets a little chilly, and it should be a great year for tomatoes. So whatever your garden is doing, even if you're up north and it's not quite spring yet, it's coming.